Hello. In this video, I'm going to be doing an internet DNS answer of using Bind. Bind is a Berkeley internet daemon developed for Linux from a long, long time ago. It actually is embedded in all the Linux distributions. You can choose to install it. In this case, the main purpose of this exercise is to use the Bind server to put a DNS cache server in your LAN. And the idea is, instead of having all the machines querying web servers or external resources from the, from the regular DNS, is putting a cache in a cache that everybody will use. So eventually the response and your internet speed will be much faster. Everything is going to be stored right there. It needs to be in your LAN. It can run as a container and it can run in any Linux distribution. For me, I want to use the Denos, the distribution, the Light Lightning field, that it was developed uh, probably about four or five years ago using the Bootstrap. You can build your own one. You can actually hard code it, embed it in your own, make it your own as well. Uh, that's what I want to be using. In this case, I want to be using the one for uh, Docker. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's just very, very tiny. Uh, if you will have any questions, you can actually check out the video on YouTube, how to create your own Debian solution in 10 minutes or less. It's super easy. Or if you want to go ahead and download, uh, you prefer to download directly from the source port, you can feel free to do so if it's ready to go. So basically a super tiny uh, distribution. This uh, drawing here presented is using our notepad, some kind of uh, distribution to actually make illustrations, drawings, and you can just check it out. And the recording is performed via using the portable version of ShareX 12.3, I think. With all that said, let's go ahead and get started. So what we want to do is actually create a little <coughs> Linux server right here in our land. In order to do that, what I want to do is use this version, the, the NOS Docker. I download the ISO image. As far as the network goes, I want to go ahead and make sure it's a bridge network, so it's going to be part of my network. And because this distribution doesn't have any users, you're, nobody's going to be able to Go ahead and get right there and, and hack it, hack into it. Unless you create some user, you don't want to be able to SSH directly into it. So, with all that said, and the newest version of this one, I'll go ahead and uh, get started. This is the you know, this live. It's super lean, super easy for 450 megs. I mean, you can be the you just run RAM, and it's just something that works. Um, once it boots, what we want to do is actually log in as root, as for in this case. And I want to add another user, uh, myself. That's a super problem. All this is good. And you should be able to connect to the one I do, 168.113. And as you can see, is that Daniel's distribution very super tiny. Uh, it doesn't. It barely use anything as far as 391 megs, and as far as the usage consumption, this is nothing. 114 megs. Anyway, let me go ahead and SSH into this box so we can actually work with it with the user we just created. And I go ahead and connect with the new user that I just created. Uh, probably that was uh, the wrong port. Let's take a look real quick. I need to do the make sure that actually I got that right. Actually, 1.13. Yeah, it's not doing a net. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting there somewhere. The new user we just create again. If you don't do this, yeah, uh, it will be in the console. Nobody will be able to connect remotely, which is fine for some security. Purposes. Right now, I'm on the shell of uh, the Debian box. It's on my LAN. I should be able to get connectivity. It's replying. Good deal. So now the recipe for today is going to be super easy. We install some dependencies for Bind, and if you choose to do it, you can build your own demo screens already preloaded on Bind. That'd be super easy, and have it ready to either do reservations on DCP or not a, not a big deal. And once you have that, then you'll be able to run it at all times, just booting on that. As you can see, uh, everything's ETC 
find, and that's where we have most of the files. Typically, the main one is the name.com, which actually is a compilation of files. You can, we're going to work in this one in particular, but you can see you can create your own zones because you have your own Active Directory or something. You can work on some of that as well. For the scope of this exercise, we're just going to edit a file. And the only thing we want to do here is actually make sure this actually is not commented and actually is. Let's use Google. Eventually, the controller start by nine. Let's take a look at the status. Here we go. For now, with all that running in our network, we have another box, which is the DNS 1.13. Let's see how that works. Let's see how that's really helping us to make our, our network faster. Let me just do the NNS lockup. Point to the server. Uh, let's just start it. And let's go for giggles.com. See how long it took on the first one. Super fast. But the second one's immediate. Now, let's go ahead and do something else. Let's go ahead and do maybe terminal.org. See how long it took a little while, and the second one is immediate. So something else that actually maybe is going to be github.com. It took a little while, but the next one is immediate. It doesn't take any time at all. Let's do bing.com. That took almost nothing, but it's, it's very fast. Now, the next consecutive request, because it's on cast, is immediate. I mean, I, I hit just enter. Let's go to something else, like maybe... Um, slash dot org it took some time was fast but the other one is just incredibly fast so casting on that one when all your computers don't need to go to the internet for those requests and everything goes immediately getting cached and you can control that cache in your server it is speed up make life make life good life is good and you can actually control all those things uh, potential you can enable do all the NASs again if you don't have nothing connecting to it nobody's going to be able to hack into it because it's only going to be merely connections you can hard code it have it allocated and have those DNS respectively respond to the local addresses or external but make the network super fast hopefully you like your tip enjoy it and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it have a great day thank you for watching